Hey everybody, so we're using a new forming system here for the exterior forms on this pool. We've never used these before. Uh, they're, th these are called polymetaforms. Okay, a company out in Milwaukee, Wisconsin sent us these forms. And they just wanted us to try them, you know, and let you guys know what we thought. So we're going to try them on this pool. Everything on the perimeter is curved and they make two types of these forms. They make a a form that'll curve, that'll bend, that'll bend, and then they make a rigid one for straight stuff, and they sent us both. But today on this one, everything has a nice slight curve all the way around, so we're going to try them out on this and let you know how they work. Now they, uh, that's how they fasten together, so you can put them together like that on, on the joints, and then I'll show you the clamps here in a minute. These are what we use to stake the forms in place and set them to grade. They have some that slide right in like this. If you want, you can screw them in and fasten them and leave them right there. And then you dr drill your pin down in here and then tighten it to grade that way. And then they got these, they got these ones that just slide in. You could put these in anywhere. So these you just kind of twist like that after your forms are up you put them just wherever you want and again drive your pin down set it to grade so that's what we're going to do now we're going to get all these together and stop bending them around in shape using these clamps Perfect. All right, we'll get some. Maybe get three together and then stop bending them. Got that metal pin slide right in there and then we can move that up and down, tighten it up like that. I'm gonna try after I'm gonna try sliding these ones at the joint and straddle the joint for the rest of them. Oh, uh, yeah, ones. yeah. Yep. Just to tighten that joint up a little bit. Yeah. Alright, that's working good. Those bend those bend really really easy. We're going to start out right at the pool house there. That one's fairly straight. And then we're getting our curve here. Luke's putting them together as I go. And then we're getting those all just kind of curved all the way around. It's definitely going to be, uh, there's not going to be any straight lines really to this pool.
twisty ones are nice because they fit right in there. You can put them wherever you want. If you need a little bit more support, you can put another one in. All right, looking good so far. Two guys can definitely set up these forms really fast like what Luke's doing you know one guy putting them together and the other guy coming behind him staking them in place they seem to go really fast That went good. Two guys, I don't know how long that took us, 20 minutes to get those forms up. So now what we're going to do is, let's just take a look. Again, poly, poly meta forms. Okay, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Companies in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It just, it, they do really curve nice. They, I mean, they're rigid enough so they're not going to, not going to bow back and forth a little bit. But they're flexible enough to get that really nice curve in them. You can see how easy that was to put up and you know we may or may not put more stakes in I don't know yet we'll see how it goes but that went up pretty good these they're 12 feet long four inches tall about an inch and a half wide I like them Luke likes them <laughs> definitely a lot easier than using you usually use Azac like one by four Azac and would be putting twice as many stakes in that to try to keep that curve like that so that's looking pretty good. Hey everybody, so we're here setting up this pool deck. This is a all curved pool. What we're using for forms today is we're using the Z pool form system. Um, we've been using this for a few years now. We, we really love it. It's really easy to set up, especially on curved pools like this. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of the pools we do, they already have this starter strip on them already right here, this receiver strip. And if they don't, then Z Pool Forms has their own that you can put on. So when we show up and that's already on, we just need to tap in the forms. These are the flexible ones. And they're made especially to tap right into those receiver strips. And that's as easy as it goes right there. You just set them in there, tap them in snug. And they're good and rugged like that. They hold really, really well. So this is just the first part of it. This is the base part we put in. We'll put this all the way around the pool. These come in eight foot lengths. And then there's a top piece to them. The tops are all over here. We'll show you how we put them on here afterwards. And then these are the liners that go in. So this is what the inside, this is what it'll look, the inside of the concrete will look like. This is kind of a slate texture. They have multiple different textures you could you could buy to put in these and they all fit in the same form. form. So we've been using, I don't know, some of these forms like this one right here. I've probably used them on 20 or 30 pools so you can use them over and over and over again not just once like a lot of the other forming systems you see you can see how easy they tap in there really i mean one guy one guy could set this up probably in and put these forms on in about an hour um two guys it's going to take them 15 minutes probably to go around this with this form right here and you will have to, you know, sometimes you will have to cut some to to fit, especially if there's skimmers you got to go around. This type of pool, this type of pool has no, oh, there's a skimmer right over there. We'll have to 
maybe find a piece that we've already cut to go around that little piece of skimmer. But as far as that goes, the rest of it is just wide open. And then, you know, when we get back around to here, we'll have to cut a piece to fit in. That's pretty normal. So we've got all kinds of cut pieces already that we've done over the years. But you can see how easy that fits right in there. All right, that's how they fit around the little skimmer if you need to. All pools are a little bit different. So what I'm doing now is I'm laying out the liner. I wanna make sure, I wanna see how much I got. It's a big pool all the way around. And if I don't have enough to do the whole thing in one pour, either I do it in two pours or I order some more so we can get it all in one pour. But it's a pretty big pool. There, he's pretty good. As you can see how we have to fit that around that skimmer right there. And then just keep going around. We'll finish putting this part up today, get the tops on, get most of the liners in, and then at least uh, both sides of the forming part of the pool will be done. And then the last part for us is, well, you know, put pretty much just setting everything to grade, putting the wire mesh in here, and then we'll be just about ready to pour. So we're gonna work on finish working on the inside with the Z pool forms now. All right, so the way I measure the square footage and try to get it as exact as I can is first thing I'll do is I'll go around and I'll kind of outline the outside edge of the pool where my forms are gonna go. And I'll spray those with dots all the way around. And then I'll just break it up into little sections like this section right here, I got a line right there from the, and I measure from the pool to my dots got 14 feet and then I, I try to keep that as consistent that's roughly 14 feet all the way to about here to this line okay it might be 13 right there but that's pretty close to 14 so then that one little section is is 18 feet in length so it's this piece is 14 by 18 and then I'll go around the pool and I'll do that you know all the way around in small sections break it up into smaller pieces so from that line right there to that line over there it's about 10 feet in width 16 feet in length so 16 by 10 here we've got another section here where the pool kind of changes in width so 15 by 11 18 by 10 so then i'll just go around and i'll add up all these sections all the way around and that gets me to a pretty darn close square footage on a pool that has really nothing straight on it So we're lining out the liner's gonna be close. Yeah, I think so. Makes it nice for us and we show up and that starter strip's already on there. You know, when the pool guy puts that on, that saves us a ton of work. That probably takes more time to do that than it would anything else. Just kind of a trend with these newer pools is having the stairs like built right into the pool versus having the separate piece of stairs put on that kind of bump out from the pool. We definitely like this side, this type of pool a lot better. Or anything? Uh, I don't know. I have to look in the pool house. Hopefully not. Alright, so 
so these these are the tops that clamp down onto the, the liner those just go on like that you just snug them down a little bit curve on there pretty nice they just friction fit slide right down over and then we slide the liners up in there and then we tighten them down on top of the liners and they hold the liners right in place this is definitely the, the easiest pool coping form system that we've ever used I mean like I said really one guy can do it Straddle that joint a little bit. That's all you do, you just snug them down like that, and that holds that right in place. And then that's the top of concrete right there. So these these little slots here, yeah, sometimes the, the liner doesn't cover the whole slot. So if it doesn't, you got to put a little tape down here so the concrete won't go through there and get in the pool. So we just got to make sure that's dry if we got to stick tape to it. That's what Luke's doing now. He's putting that little that white tape down. Alright, so all we got left to do today is just set these outside forms to the grade we want them at. We'll go by, you know, the when we snap down the the Z pool forms down in place, that's the grade at the pool. So we want to slope the deck away from the pool a little bit, you know, half inch to an inch away from the pool. So that's kind of what we're looking at. So we'll drop the we'll drop the grade stick down, you know, three quarters of an inch or so, and we'll use that as we go along here, as long as it's within an eighth of an inch. Of that grade we should be good but definitely shooting for lower than the pool when it rains we want the water to run away from the pool not in the pool tiny bit higher huh? how's that one
what I'm saying? Some of this ground was really, really hard. Oh. Yeah. It's pretty easy to set the grade that way. Usually we used to screw and everything, so we just kind of keep going around. So right, the ground's been pretty close the way we've been going. That's pretty hard. I don't think we want to be digging it down. That's for sure. Piece. All right, I think that does it for today. I wouldn't mind doing pull deck. <laughs> <laughs> so what we got left is we're basically forms are all set. I got a couple little pieces we got to fill in here. We're gonna box this out so that when the rain drips off the roof, you can see what it does to the rock. So we're gonna box that out so it doesn't drip on the deck. You can put crushed rock in there. So a little bit on each side, we got to finish forming. Got to get the wire mesh to put in here. Probably 45 sheets of wire mesh, I think I figured for in here. And then we're pretty much ready to go. Just got to pick a day. We got to get a pump truck. Got to get a few extra people because we're going to try to do it all one day. It's all stamped. And uh, so we'll get back to you. Probably next time I see you is the day we come back or maybe when we put the wire in or the day we come back to pour and stamp.